Hi guys, my name is Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about six new dresses that I've made in three or four different patterns. Hang on, one, two, three, four patterns, seven dresses. Some dresses <laughs> that I'm going to show you um, with some pattern repeats in there. There you go, we got there eventually. Now, um, I will talk to you first about this dress or this pattern and um, which I've made three versions ever so slightly different of now this is a pattern of my own creation and by that I don't mean that I drafted it I mean that I've mashed two patterns together that I love and um, to make myself a dress that I am calling the mojo dress <laughs> partly because I feel like I've got my mojo when I'm wearing it partly because I used it to get my mojo back a little bit when I was feeling a bit which is the best definition um and partly because it is a perfect portmanteau word for the two patterns that i mashed together which is the colette minetta dress and the tilly and the buttons joni dress so monetta joni mojo um <laughs> i hope that makes sense um so I have combined the bodice of the Colette Manetta, which I have only made as a dress once before this little batch that I've made. But I have used the Manetta top or bodice a lot as a top because I like the fit of it. So I've made quite a few Manetta top hacks where I've lengthened on from the, the bodice piece for the dress. Um, and I really, really like those. So... I thought it would be good to try and make like some day dresses that aren't too over the top. Um, not that the Joni dress in itself is particularly over the top, but you know, just a really plain, really good for a like big bold pattern because I had a few jerseys that I was thinking I would make into a Joni dress. And then I kind of thought, oh, I'm not sure the pattern is going to look right on the twisty bit of the bodice. And also yeah i just wasn't kind of convinced so i've yeah decided that i would combine the skirt of the joni which i absolutely love and totally took by took me by surprise because i didn't think i was going to like the swooshy of the of the dress um yeah sewing has really changed my style because or it enabled me to like have the style i wanted i guess but i've been so used to skater dresses not really fitting very well and circle skirts not really like suiting me that I'm surprised that I love the Joni skirt as much as I do, but I do. <laughs> so um, I started off with this one that I'm wearing, which is in beautiful fabric from Little Darling Fabrics, um, who have a website and also a Facebook group. I am a brand enthusiast for Little Darling Fabrics, which is just a great like phrase because um, I can be enthusiastic about fabric. <laughs> um, but this I paid for myself this jersey this I bought before I became a brand enthusiast um, and as you can see it's a very dark navy you might not actually be able to see that but it's a very dark navy with these giraffe um giraffes on as a design and I made it up I added pockets which sagged a little bit but pff, in perfect pockets are better than no pockets at all by like a very long way <laughs> um and uh yeah it's quite a simple make it doesn't take me very long the only thing the only alterations i made is that i added a neckband to this version rather than the neckline on the manetta which is you just turn it under and stitch it down and um, because the neckline on the manetta is is more of a boat neck and i've made this a little bit more of like a t-shirt neckline um and it was a little bit higher than i wanted and i'm umming and ahhing about cutting it off and making it a little bit lower um, because the next version I made, I did that. I made it much more scoopy um, and I really, really like that. Uh, I think that that kind of big, kind of quite scoop neckline really suits me. And it means that I can wear some of my nice chunky jewellery, which is good because I've bought it because I like it. So I should try and wear it. Um, so the only other alteration I made to the second one, well, two, I suppose, I slightly changed up the pockets. Um, I added jersey bands to the pockets to try and stop the gaping issue that I get sometimes um when I do sewing pockets in in jersey 
So uh, that worked really well actually and was quite simple to do. Um, I just cut the pocket circle slightly larger so that there was space for a, for a band to go in there. Um, and the other alteration I made was to the armpit area here. So I make the 1x, yeah, no, I make the XL in the Minetta, um, but I grade not quite to the 1x at the waist. Basically, there's a huge difference in the waist measurements between the X between the large and the XL or the XL and the 1X. I can't remember what the sizing convention is for, for Colette. Um, like huge. So I was worried that the XL was going to be a little bit tight, but I didn't want it to go as far out as the next size up. Um, but there is a little bit of gaping, not gaping, like X pooling, pooling of fabric here. Um, so in the next version that I made, which was in some fabulous like bizarre very unique fabric from rockstar fabrics um i just graded in um at the arm side a little bit which removed this completely and yeah i'm gonna do that in future because it makes sense but this is still perfectly wearable and if i wanted to i could go and take a little bit of, out of that seam um here as well but i've worn this loads already and i don't know it's fine <laughs> So I probably won't because I'm a bit lazy. Um, and so then the third one that I made, I used the same scoop neckline, but I added um, the normal neckline instructions. So I folded under and stitched down. Um, that was in a beautiful, all of the fabrics are beautiful, <laughs> um, beautiful art gallery jersey with pandas all over it um, that I got from uh, Lubadoo Fabrics who are now the maker's merchant, um, changed their name quite recently. And I just didn't want it to look too much like a t-shirt. I feel like this fabric, you don't even really notice the neckband particularly. And on the Rockstar Fabrics one, it needed a colour block to it. So that was kind of fine. Um, but on the Art Gallery one, I kind of wanted it to be not so much a t-shirt dress. And uh, yeah, I really, really love that. That Art Gallery jersey is just so soft um, that it's really lovely to wear. But I've mucked up the pockets on that one and I really need to unpick them and I haven't yet because I just keep wearing it with a slightly weird pocket bulge. Um, I know what I did, I just need to go in and like fix it. And we all know how long those kind of things can take when we've got other projects to sew that are exciting. Um, so anyway, that is the mojo dress and I will definitely be making more. I've got a couple more fabrics with like big bold prints that I think will be really lovely mojo dresses. So I have three more dresses to talk, talk to you about. I'm first gonna go, let's stick with Jersey for now. So I've got one more Jersey dress to show you and then two wovens. So this is another fabric from Little Darling Fabrics, but it was a gifted fabric as part of my brand enthusiast role. Um, so let me be enthusiastic about my fabric for you. <laughs> Um, so Kerry, who runs Little Darling Fabrics, has a really cool selection of fabrics and actually she's just started a YouTube channel so I will link her channel down below. She's a real natural in front of the camera so you should um, go and check her out. She has um, filmed a couple of vlogs so far and she's done a vlog where she shows you in real time her making a 32 minute dress. Um, and yeah, it's, it's cool so go and check out her videos. Um, but she... Uh, originally started out kind of selling like novelty kids jerseys but has really built a really cool inclusive community um on the facebook group and um more and more grown-ups like me <laughs> are sewing her fabrics for garments for themselves so um that was a bit of a ramble i haven't been enthusiastic about fabric yet maybe i'm not very good at being a brand enthusiast um she sent me at this absolutely amazing Highland Cows jersey, which is super soft. All of um, Kerry's fabrics are really soft and they're also extra wide. They're like 165 wide, which is just amazing because um, it just gives you that little bit of extra wiggle room for like either big enough scraps that you can actually make other things with. I made pants knickers from these and my giraffe knickers are my favourites. Um, or like super big skirts or... <laughs> actually having elbow length sleeves rather than having to have short sleeves if you don't 
have enough. So, um, yeah, she sent me this Highland Cows jersey and I was super excited about it. And I received it during the little heat wave that we had in the UK a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I was like, I'm going to make myself a lovely summer camisole dress. The type of dress that I really wanted to wear when I was a teenager and either never had the confidence to and or couldn't find ones finds ones <laughs> find ones that I liked in the size that I was um I was like I can sew now I'm gonna do this myself and it will be amazing and it kind of was but it did take me a little bit of like gearing myself up to actually do it because I was a little bit nervous I was gonna muck it up um I used a pattern it's a pattern hack of a pattern that hasn't even been released yet which I'm currently pattern testing um which is for made it patterns and it's going to be the go cami and go shorties and that's actually the pattern I used for the scraps of this to make myself knickers um and it's a really cool pattern with loads of options for color blocking and different finishes around the um, neckline and the armholes and um around the waist and the leg holes for the pants <laughs> I didn't breathe a lot in that sentence <laughs> um and i'm not going to talk massively about that dress now or at least the pattern now because i'll do a video talking about the pattern set and all the different versions i've made later but i just want to show you the amazing pictures that i went and took um out in public in the real world because i'm getting a little bit more confident at taking photos and having little mini photo shoots outside at the cow mural which is outside the old cattle market in reading um because obviously I had to take my Highland cows to meet the big mural cows. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically I just, it's a really simple hack. Um, it's exactly the same cami top until the waist and then I've just cut it off at the waist and added a big gathered skirt. Um, the, the pattern includes a shelf bra, which is the best thing ever. And this shelf bra is really good um, really supportive. I'm going to add foam cups to my next version as an experiment or try and put them into... Um, the version I've already made or the two versions with uh, shelf bras I've made because uh, you can wear them without a bra <laughs> do I need to say any more um, and also it works with a t-shirt underneath it and I feel like I'm like living my 16 year old self dream um, wearing a t-shirt underneath a strappy cami jersey dress in a novelty fabric with thick tights and dot martins and big funky glasses and stretched ears it's like literally my dream style as a as a 16 year old and now i can live it <laughs> and it's amazing and i really want to make a plain colored version because i think it would be really cool to like funk up with um big jewelry and yeah i'm quite excited right so that's my jersey make i've now been talking for ages and i've got two more dresses to talk to you about but one of them is something you've already seen me make before so I won't spend too long on it. So I mentioned in my last video that the Made by Ray, um, previously known as Washi Dress, now known as Trillium Dress, um, was a pattern that I was considering making again. And I made another version just before I filmed that video in the fabric that I set myself the six yard challenge of during Ankara Appreciation Week and then failed at actually doing. <laughs> um, but I made myself that, that dress, the Trillium, and I absolutely love it. It is so bright and fun and I just feel really me in it. And I absolutely love it. I, again, I went out and took some photos against a bright blue wall near a friend's house in public. Totally didn't mind the cyclists and dog walkers going past. <laughs> Minded slightly more about the car full of people that I knew, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, so yeah, I made that and I love it. And like I say, there's going to be more of those on, on my cutting table soon. So the final dress is another hashtag ad, hashtag gifted fabric, um, which is this beautiful linen blend <laughs> uh, yellow fabric. It's like a buttercup yellow. It's a really lovely, soft, but not too baby yellow, not like lemon. It's like a really lovely buttery buttercup. It's buttercup yellow, um, which matches my converse that I wear in all of my photos <laughs> because I just love them and I wear them all the time uh, perfectly and I even had yellow glasses I mean it had to be had to be done didn't it um that fabric is from a shop called So by the Sea who are based in Margate um I'll link all of their details including their YouTube channel down below and um I'm part of their 
supporters, sewers supporters uh, group, along with some other lovely uh, sewers and sewers, sewists, seamstresses, crafters, makers. And um, it's just a beautiful fabric. And I chose to make the um, By Han London Hannah dress, which is the wrap dress. Um, I love a wrap dress. I love the neckline of a wrap dress and I love the style lines. Um, and it's so popular on Instagram that I had to give it a go. And I twirled it up. And what I would say about By Hand London is there are so many fitting resources. Um, Elisa Lex, who runs By Hand London, is like the queen of fit. <laughs> and she shares absolutely loads of tips and resources on how to um, improve the fit of your garments. So I um, made a twirl and I needed to remove some gaping from the neckline. And so I followed their tutorial on how to do that. And I absolutely love this make. I will be making more. I want to play around with making it into a mock wrap version because fabric use and flashingness. Um, but I really, really love it. So I, yeah, will we'll be making more of those definitely. So they're the dresses I've been making recently. Um, I have made quite a lot that I haven't shown you guys. I keep saying that and then not doing it, but I'm trying and I'm catching up. Um, I'm still putting a lot of my energy into the sewing room move, which is nearly ready. Um, and I'm hoping to film at the weekend to show you next week. So watch this space. Thank you so much for watching guys. And until next time,